Get ready to rumble. Chilling Show Unleashed on the Seven Thunders Media Network. Former city councilor, husband, father, and community watchdog. Your host, Rob Schilling. Welcome to the Shilling Show Unleashed podcast. Remember, your direct support makes our show possible, and you can directly support this podcast by visiting shillingshow.com and then clicking on the Patreon banner at the top of the page to make a monthly contribution. We appreciate your support. The Shilling Show Unleashed podcast welcomes Norbert Heuser, a public speaker, inventor, and expert on frequencies, the CEO of IPC USA. And today's topic, the dangers of electromagnetic radiation. Norbert Heuser, welcome to the Schilling Show Unleashed podcast. Well, Rob, thanks a lot for having me back. We spoke with each other four years ago. Since that time, lots has happened. Tell us how you became involved in this arena. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could put a creative mind to. Why did this grab your attention? Uh, I'm for 40 years in alternative medicine. 15 years ago, I became very sick. At the same time, my grandson became very sick who was just born. And I found out very quickly that it was down to the usage of cell phone. And I tried to look around to find a solution, something which would protect me from these electromagnetic radiation. And there was nothing. There was nothing. I said, that can't be true. And I found out that no doctor had any idea about it. And I found out that no doctor ever had an education university about these electromagnetic radiations, which are used for cell phones, GPS, Wi-Fi's all kinds of gadgets which we use nowadays without thinking about it. I started to develop ideas and concepts and I started to make a product and I found out it worked and that it became a business. I never thought in my lifetime about that. I have no idea that I would ever have a business, but that's how it started. And I felt an obligation and a call to do more. And so nowadays I have a wide range of product, not only cell phone, but the entire house protection and cars. A lot of people don't know that the regular combustion chamber car creates electromagnetic radiation. The electric car is the devil. I mean, it's, it's the devil, right? So electromagnetic radiation harmed the human body. Very simple. It's clear. It's proven, but not, okay, published in the big media and the industry keeps quiet. I compare it with the situation of the smoking tobacco industry 30, 40 years ago. They knew it was dangerous, but they kept their mouth shut because they wanted to make money. A friend of mine used to work for Ericsson. Some older folks here may remember Ericsson was the biggest name in cell phones at the beginning of this uh, old mobile phone situation. Yes. He worked at Ericsson, and they put phones, attached phones, to the head of pigs and switched them on and uh, let them run around for a while. And then they killed the pigs and slaughtered and cut off the skull because they wanted to see how far does this radiation penetrate into the brain. And they knew, they had the proof, but they didn't talk about it. He talked about it, he left the company. He explained everything about it. So if you imagine that our population in the United States has give and take 330 million, and at the moment we have currently about 380 million cell phones mm -hmm. in usage. And that's the same picture in every country. Help us to understand electromagnetic radiation. Obviously, Norbert, we cannot see it, but it exists. So what is it actually? The human being has a natural electromagnetic radiation field. Without electromagnetic radiation, electricity, our body, our brain, our heart cannot work. We need electricity. And as we measure the speed of a car in miles and your weight in pounds, we measure electromagnetic radiation is what is called microwatt per square meter. And you should not, ex you have a natural field of 80, 80. You should not expose yourself to more than 100. More than 100 is not good. 1,000 is dangerous, highly dangerous. 80 is normal, more than 100 is not good, 1,000 is highly dangerous. If you make a cell phone call, you have easy two to 3,000. If you drive an electric car, you have six to 10,000. Wow. And it just harms the human body in many, many, many different ways. And it has many, many consequences. Imagine nowadays, every third person is dying of cancer. 
Have you ever heard a statement from the medical industry, why is that? Every third person, every third person mm -hmm. dies of cancer. The number gets worse. There must be reasons, but they don't talk about it. For me, the number one reason is electromagnetic radiation, because we have it everywhere now. We have it at home, in a hospital, in churches, in schools. Everywhere is a Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi is electromagnetic radiation. And we can't live without it. That's the problem. We can't live without it. Our world is based on Wi-Fi. It's too late. We cannot reverse the wheel. You mentioned, Norbert, the damage that this does to humans. And you were talking earlier about the experimentation on pigs. What did they find when they opened the brains of these pigs? The effect was that the electromagnetic radiation creates heat. And the heat, so to speak, burns the brain. Um, we have something which is called a blood barrier uh, in our brain yes. to prevent you from negative influences. Especially children, for example, the blood-brain barrier is not developed and things can easily pass. Children and uh, pregnant women are the most endangered of everybody uh, who is using cell phones. And the consequences are devastating. Besides that every third person dies of cancer, the number one reason in Australia for children death is brain cancer. Now you connect the dots and tell me why is that? Well, for me, it's only one answer, the cell phones. I would imagine if we looked back, and you may be familiar with the numbers, how this has changed since the introduction of cell phones, what would be the normal number for brain cancer in children before this era of EMR? Zero. When I was 20, 30, 15, 18, I didn't know anybody who died of brain cancer or didn't know anybody that died of cancer at all. Very little people. People died in their sleep or in a car accident. Now every third person dies of cancer. But it's not only cancer, it's that the men fertility sperm count has gone down drastically. There are so many side effects, it's incredible. The bone marrow gets destroyed, behavior disorders. People have more and more depressions. The water structure in your body is destroyed and the water structure in regular, body, regular water as well. Uh, I have on my website, I have a button called uh, webinar in which I talk about these things extensively and give explanations and graphics and, uh, and photos and images. But again, no doctor has been educated. You go to a doctor, nobody talks about cell phone or microwaves or whatever usage. No doctor talks about water. They say, you must drink more water, you're dehydrated. They don't know what they're talking about. To my definition, 95% of all doctors are a disgrace. 3% are okay and 2% are fantastic. But it's hard to find this 2%. And none of them has been educated in water or like radiation. They don't know. They don't know nothing about it. And nobody talks about it because it's too bad. Now, I can point out that people don't have to believe in me, what I'm saying. Uh, on my website, there's a button called books. I don't sell books. There is a book I'm pointing out, Hidden Dangers, 5G, written by Captain Jerry G. Flynn. Now, Captain Jerry G. Flynn is a retired electronic warfare specialist from Canada. He worked in the army. They used these frequencies in the army. And he talks about it. Guys, if you read this book, it gives you all the knowledge you need. And we talk nowadays about 5G as it's a new thing. No, it's not a new thing. 5G has been used by the armies as a weapon since the 1960s. And I talk in my webinars about the connection between 5G and the COVID vaccinations. I would like to get into this a little deeper. We have a lot of people in our listening audience who are concerned, not only over EMR, because you and I have had this conversation before and people have continued to talk about it, but also to the COVID so-called vaccinations, which many people in this area have lost their jobs because they refused them. So maybe you could talk about the connection here because I hadn't heard this. I'm not vaccinated. And a lot of my friends are not vaccinated. A lot of people in alternative medicine are not vaccinated. And we said, okay, great, we're not vaccinated, we are safe. Because it was became clear through certain whistleblowers that in the vaccination are harmful substances. And these substances can be, let me call it activated, controlled by 5G. We tested micro blood analysis. Mm -hmm. We analyzed the blood of vaccinated people. And we can see the spike proteins and all the goodies in the blood of the people. And these products can be activated through 5G. What it is, is every time you got a vaccination, 
your name was registered. The serial number of the vaccination was registered. Your name, address, everything is registered. In quantum physics, the other side knows as well, you can connect with every single person. You go and I am sitting at the computer and I want to contact Rob in your city with your address, with your serial number. I can contact you and make a decision in a program whether you're going to die of a heart attack or you develop cancer or you're going to just be sick or suicide. I can decide that on a computer. And that was the entire plan, to reduce the world population. And very specifically, I can say, computer, give me all black people. Give me all white people above 70 because they don't produce anymore. We don't need them anymore. And I can write the program and take you out. This is standard if you know what you're doing. I do the exact opposite. In quantum physics, I have products around the world, which I'm wearing now against electromagnetic radiation, 99 bucks guaranteed for five years. Comes out tomorrow, these idiots with 6G, I can update my products around the world, no matter where they are. And within three days, everyone is updated and covered against 6G without paying extra money or buying a new product. I can do the same thing they're doing, but on a positive survival side. In quantum physics, I can contact every person, every product I want to, if I know what I'm doing. We thought, well, we are, we are safe. We're not vaccinated. So, okay, doesn't concern us. So these poor people are vaccinated. They're dying left and right. And then, of course, in most cases, nothing is connected the dots to the vaccination. Of course not. They will never do that. Yeah. So we thought we're safe. Now I'm in a study group of a handful of uh, people in the medical field. We could prove now through what is called shedding that everybody Everybody who is not vaccinated carries the same crap in his blood like the vaccinated. And I checked my own blood and the blood of my doctor colleagues, all good guys, all wanted to find solutions. We have all destroyed blood situation where the what we call the red blood cells are clumped, clustered, money rolls, don't buy enough, bind enough uh, oxygen. We saw that. So everybody who is not vaccinated carries the same crap like the vaccinated. And I believe that they move away from vaccination because vaccination run dead. Nobody believes them anymore. So Bill Gates uh, said, no problem. We're going to add these vaccinated uh, ingredients in food, in livestock. He talks about it openly. He has videos on, on the Internet, YouTube, where he says, OK, we, we're going to put this now in the livestock. And he says, oh, it's very funny because the eggs, the chicken lay more eggs. And so we're eating the stuff now and drinking the stuff over water. So they found a new way to distribute it. They don't bother you with vaccinations anymore. This was a, a, a quick run now. Maybe we could take just a minute or so to talk about the, the shedding process, because people have heard the term before. I'm not sure they understand how that works. If I'm vaccinated, I have these components in my blood through contacts, aerosol, sexual contact, sweat, touching. These components are transferred to another person, easy and fast. It goes that fast that you have no idea what just happened. You cannot see it. You cannot smell it. That's the danger of all these things, including like radiation. You cannot smell, you cannot see it. And you think you're safe. You are not. And there's long-term long -term effects. Like if some, I work with alcoholics. An alcoholic doesn't become alcoholic if he drinks alcohol for two years. It lasts 10, 20 years before he has a liver cirrhosis. Mm. If you use cell phones, the negative effect for most people doesn't show immediately. It shows after 10, 20 years or 30 years of use. Shedding happens between all of us in a heartbeat. And now, again, it is in livestock, in food, in meat, in everything. They can put it in everything. And that's the easiest way for them to distribute it. I don't care what people say about people like myself and others. We are not in a situation where we are paranoid. It's just the fact how it works. The target is the reduction of the world population and control. And when people are sick, they have little space in their mind to discover themselves as a spiritual being. You go to somebody who cannot pay an electricity bill at the end of the month, and you say, hey, you've got to relax, you've got to discover yourself, you're a spiritual being, and blah, blah, blah. He says, what the hell are you talking about? I cannot pay my electricity bill. So if you keep people busy with problems, and health is the biggest problem for everybody, followed by money, then these people will not have room to think 
and to look around, relax, and say, oh, this is going on, I understand. And they don't want to be troubled with more problems. So they know that. So they push the buttons, and uh, thanks God to people like yourself who are helping to distribute truth and make people think we may have a chance. But it's very slim, and we've got to do something about it. And the first thing is you've got to do, you've got to protect yourself, that these things cannot affect your body, whether it's from my company, my products, or somebody else's. It doesn't matter as long as they work. Most of the products out there do not work. Two products which promised to protect you from electromagnetic radiation did not work. Mine was the only which works. And why? Well, because the technology I have, I took a different approach. And all my products have been tested by the Visa Institute in Austria, scientifically and certified. Yes, they work. They do what the guy says. I have more than 1,500 pages on my website where you can read the human effect, the effect on the human body exposed to 5G and then protected from my products. You see the difference immediately in their graphics and their testings. So we have to protect ourselves by protecting from electromagnetic radiation, by drinking truly healthy water. Most of your listeners, I guarantee you, drinking unhealthy water, and by improving the quality of your food. This all can be done in quantum physics, and I show it on my website, I show it in the tests, and I show it in the products. It can be done, but you have to do it yourself. The government will not do it for you. The big industry will not do it for you. The big industry wants to make money. They don't have any morals. And the fun part is, for example, 5G, electromagnetic radiation, no insurance company in the world insures you against electromagnetic radiation, even at Lloyd's in London. You cannot have insurance against electromagnetic radiation because they know what it is. So this is going on. We have to defend ourselves, our health, our immediate health, by the food, by the water we drink, by electromagnetic radiation. And, of course, we have a problem with the air. And uh, we have microplastics in the air, in the water, in the ground, everywhere. We have to defend ourselves. We're at the end of the line, and we still enjoy Monday night football. Okay, enjoy it. But parallel, protect yourself and your children for survival, for healthy survival. We will all die. Yes, I have a webinar which is called I Want to Die Healthy. Because the target is not to die after 10 years in a hospital being taken care of with Alzheimer's. That's no life. Life is active. We are at the end of the line and we have to work together and to do something. The Shilling Show Unleashed podcast. Our guest is Norbert Hauser. We continue in a moment. Online at shillingshow.com. Borderhawk.news is a one-stop shop with the latest news about immigration, nationalism, and globalism. The Borderhawk staff daily curates immigration news stories and in the fashion of the Drudge Report, updates the site with cutting-edge content and original first-class commentary. Borderhawk.news highlights national and international media reports, tweets, and nuggets buried in local news blurbs, polls, video clips, and policy research. Borderhawk is pro-legal immigration, pro-rule of law, but against an unsecure border as countless Americans have suffered violence at the hands of criminal illegal aliens. And an increasing number of Americans are concerned about how mass migration affects their daily life. Borderhawk.news will remain on the forefront of the immigration issue with a buffet of info to read, evaluate, and share. Bookmark Borderhawk.news. Add them on social media at Borderhawk News on Twitter. The Shilling Show Unleashed podcast continues with Norbert Heuser. We're talking about dangers of electromagnetic radiation and many related topics. I wanted to go to some of the dangers and how this may be manifesting in people's lives. And I'd like to start with sleep. This is a chronic issue in our society. There are people making a lot of money on selling cures for a better night's sleep. What is the connection between EMR and sleep problem? The electric radiation screws up most of the functions in your body. And at nighttime, there are 17, to my definition, 17 possible causes for bad sleep. And I name the electric radiation as one of the major causes for bad sleep. And people tell me, well, I switch off at nighttime my cell phone. I switch off the nighttime my Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter. You have Wi-Fi everywhere. You switch it off in your house, the Wi-Fi from your neighbors penetrates your house. 
you go on your computer, you want to look for an internet connection, it offers you 10, 20 different connections, which means these connections are running through your body. And if you know the password, you could use them. So if you even switch off your own Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter. The uh, effects on the body, destroying your DNA, destroying your bone marrow, all these mental problems are devastating. And I'm not sure you ever talked on your show about the, uh, the job of the pineal gland. The pineal gland, besides creating melatonin, is heavily attacked by 5G radiation, 4G as well, but now it is more than 5G. So you don't get the good night's sleep you need to recover because the good night's sleep means a mental recovery and a physical recovery, both. And if that's not happening, you don't get the sleep your body needs. And you can torture people with sleep deprivation, which some uh, governments do to their prisoners. Because if you don't let somebody sleep for two, three days in a row, the person would, would kill his own mother to get some sleep. The 5G, the electromagnetic radiation, completely destroys the body. We have water, 80, 90, 85, 80 percent of our body is water. In my uh, webinars, I show how 5G, 4G destroys the water structure in your body. Like, for example, a microwave oven. Mm -hmm. Microwave oven is the devil. It destroys your water. And there is a gentleman who I refer to called Mazuro Emoto from Japan. He discovered the water structures and that water needs to have a hexagonal structure to be healthy. And without the hexagonal structure, your water will never be healthy. And all the water you drink doesn't have that hexagonal structure. Only the hexagonal structure will penetrate the cells that you are hydrated. You can drink as much water you want. You are still dehydrated if that water has not the hexagonal fine cluster structure to penetrate your cells. On my website is a talk show under talk shows. I gave a three and a half hour talk show on water. If you listen to that show, I guarantee you, you know more than 99% of all doctors in the world about water. I say everything you need to know about water. And most people drink bad water. One of the most featured products is what is called reverse osmosis system. Mm -hmm. If you're up for it, Rob, we'll make a separate show only why reverse osmosis system is the devil. They don't tell you that it's the devil. And people buy it for one simple reason. They sell it to them and they ignore the five other reasons which destroys the water in your body. So if you're based on water your body and the water is destroyed in his structure, how healthy can you be? 5G, 4G destroys the structure of water in your body and in consequence, a lot of functions in your body. And finally, I wanted to ask you about the manifestation of increased mental health issues. And you mentioned about sleep deprivation. Are we seeing a tie in here between people's inability to sleep and this uh, rapidly growing mental health problem that is sweeping not only the nation, but the world? Yes, it does. However, I mentioned before briefly the pineal gland. Yes. The pineal gland is one of the centers of your body to distribute hormones and is responsible for your mental condition, which most doctors, again, don't know. In the uh, alternative medicine, it is known. So when you attack the pineal gland, you attack not only the health, physical health of the body, but as well the mental stability. What you're saying, I usually say in my seminars, I say um, our world, our people became more crazy, more ridiculous. And yes, these are the main reasons. They become ridiculous, I mean, insane. Our society tends to become more insane. Yes. Part of that reason is the wrong information from the media. And people believe the media. Part of the reason is the fear. Every person who is in fear has a reduced immune system. As soon as you are in fear, your immune system collapses, goes down in its intensity level, in its coverage. So if you take the negative influences of the media, putting people in permanent fear, forget about the whole COVID nonsense thing, uh, which made people ridiculous. Even nowadays, I see people driving in their car all by themselves, wearing a mask. I mean, how more crazy can you be? So the world is becoming more crazy, more ridiculous. People are under such pressure of survival, they uh, have no room to live and to breathe. There's no life. Uh, working like, like, like puppets, like, you know, robots, like a machine. 
so we have to take in consideration the bad media. We have to take in consideration the destroyed water structure in your body. We have to take in consideration the attack of the pineal gland with uh, electromagnetic radiation. If you put this all together, we create a new low level of mankind, incapable to think, incapable to judge, incapable to live actively. It is a frightening scenario that you point out to us, but we see it all around us. Norbert, if people want to get more information, if they want to look at the products that you have discussed today, the things that you have invented to help people escape some of these dangers of EMR, tell us where we can find this online. I have a website called improveyourlife.us. Improveyourlife.us. On this website, you find products, you find uh, loads of webinars I've been given. You can watch them, all free charge. But you can watch all these and you can send me an email if you have questions and I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. You should start to become active. Active means to do something and starts with thinking. I'd be happy to answer the questions I can. The products are self-explanatory and all the visa tests, scientific tests are on the website where you can see how does a body react under 5G? How does it react once I bring my protection in? You see the complete change improvement. Norbert Heuser, it's such important information. I hope people will take advantage of the opportunity. Thank you for joining us today on the Schilling Show Unleashed podcast. Thank you for having me. All the best to the listeners. And we have solutions. Let's work on these solutions. That concludes another edition of the Schilling Show Unleashed podcast. Visit us online at shillingshow.com where you can directly support this podcast by clicking on the Patreon banner at the top of the page and making a monthly donation. Your support is essential for the continuation of the Shilling Show Unleashed podcast. Until next time.